All right, this is first grade, module one, lesson 15. And in this lesson, we're gonna continue practicing that count on technique. And we're going up to changes of three, no more than that. And we're gonna have students representing that change uh, using numbers, using the five group cards, and of course, using the best calculator of them all, their, their fingers. So for example, the idea of when you're using their fingers is if they're adding six plus three, let's say, we'd want them to start with six because that's gonna be the most efficient and holding up the fist, they could say six and then say seven, eight, nine. And because they've counted three fingers and they've ended up on the nine, uh, that means the answer is, of course, the sum is nine. Alternatively, what we can have is students take a look at the uh, numbers over here on my left. Uh, the idea would be we could take that six plus three, which is, of course, numbers, and leaving the six alone, that's our starting point, that's the six, we can flip our five group cards, uh, flip the three over to reveal the three dots, and then the students can start with the six, and instead of counting on their fingers, seven, eight, nine, they can use their pencil and they can touch each of the three dots, and as they're counting, six, seven, eight, nine, and because they've touched on that third dot and said the number nine, that of course is another way of saying that the answer, or finding out that the answer is nine. So let's do some practice. So here we're told to use our five group cards or our fingers to count on in order to solve these addition problems. Now, uh, parents and teachers, really the idea is we're, at this point, we're looking for efficiency and teachers in, in particular, I want you to notice that the reason they've set up these problems like this is they're really saying, they're trying to make it very obvious to the students that there is one method that is a little bit more efficient than the other. Uh, the idea being we're gonna start with the larger of the two numbers, in this case let's say it's six versus the two, we're gonna start with that larger of the two numbers and then count the smaller number, count on the smaller number. And that's really we're aiming for, not only are we aiming for the answer, but we're also aiming for a little bit of efficiency here. We're also developing fluency, the idea being uh, kids can use their fingers in order to count because that's one way that we're gonna help students uh, develop automaticity with their addition facts, and that's okay to use their fingers at this point. Uh, so anyway, the idea would be, uh, let's take a look at five plus three. So the idea would be you're gonna start with the five and you're gonna count on. Uh, some students might need the dots. They might need some sort of representation of the dots. So they might even draw in the dots first. Oh, I need three dots. And then they can go ahead and count and they might start with the five and then say six, seven, eight. Oh, our answer, our sum is eight. And then uh, I'm gonna just jump straight over to the six plus two because that specifically says show the shortcut. So some students, how would they show it in first grade? Oh, they might do something along the lines of six plus, and then they might draw a picture of what that two might look like, dot, dot. And then they can say, well, then that's what I did. So I did six and then seven, eight, and whisper count maybe, and say, oh, my answer is eight, all right? Now, teachers, what can you do uh, to differentiate? Well, let's talk about first, let's differentiate on the side of students who are still struggling and the skills are not automatic. Well, the first is uh, continue to allow students and encourage students to use those dot cards, those five group cards. So they're gonna replace the three with the, or flip over the card and reveal the three dots, or here they would reveal the two dots. Uh, so continue allowing students to use the dots or the fingers as necessary. We're not looking for um, memorized facts at this point. We will, but not at this point. Uh, if we want to uh, differentiate on the other end, uh, really uh, students who are finding this super duper easy, uh, for the students who are ready, well, maybe instead of saying uh, six plus two, you can differentiate by making this a 26 
plus two, and then let students count on. And then, you know, 35 plus three. So you can definitely differentiate um, pretty quickly on that, that end for the end for the students who are um, finding this easy at this point. Uh, a real quick one that I'm just thinking of is you can put a two in front of every one of these and turn it into 25, 26, and 27. And then, boy, in two seconds, you've just differentiated for that top end of, the, your, of your class. And that wraps up what I hope to be a brief video. First grade, module one, lesson 15, counting on up to three extra. Our change is up to three, using numbers, five group cards, and, of course, our fingers.